Okay, welcome to this uh, video on how to find your map files for Minecraft Java and on a PC. So first of all you're going to need to find your map files quite often for manipulating them in MC Edit or to convert them. So this short video is going to show you how to do that. There are two ways to do this. I'll show you first of all the traditional way and that's through the file explorer. Um, so we'll just pause this map and we'll open up our um, Cortana here and type in run in Windows search. This brings up the desktop app called run for a PC and this allows us to find hidden files and folders. So on a PC we need to type in percent app data percent backslash dot Minecraft to find our Minecraft folder. Now it's a hidden folder and it's quite tricky to you can't get to it normally through the file browser you have to type in that command so here we can see my minecraft folder it sits in my roaming profile um, under app data which is an invisible folder in a roaming profile and dot minecraft is an invisible folder in there so in here you can see we've got saves and in my save file you can see the file called building world this is the java map that i'm currently in in the uh, in the world that we saw at the start there so in order to take a copy of that world i would simply right click on it copy that world and then maybe paste it onto my desktop for converting later on so i'm going to stick it on there somewhere right click and paste and we've now got a copy of that world sitting there building world on my desktop ready for me to use always a good idea to use a copy of the world rather than the actual world if it gets corrupted in any of the things you're doing then you've at least got your original building work already done if you want to uh, get access to the world a different way then you can actually do it through in game which is probably much easier to remember um, so if you don't want to use the run command here's my little trick for this if you just press escape and in pretty much any version of minecraft you can go to options and resource packs if you go to resource packs you also have an option to open the resource pack folder well this sits within your dot minecraft file so if i click on that then it will open up my resource pack folder which as you can see sits in joel mills app data roaming dot minecraft so all I need to do is come up one level here by clicking on dot Minecraft and we're back in the same place. There's my resource packs folder and there's my saves folder that we were working on before. So I'm back in the same place and actually that's much easier to remember how to get there than typing in percent app data slash dot Minecraft blah blah blah. And also this little trick works on both Mac and PC. So I'll just show you that again. In the, in the main menu we just press escape go to options click on resource pack click on open resource pack folder and then we go up one level in the file structure so we can do that here on windows by clicking on the word dot minecraft and that goes up one level and then we're in the minecraft folder and we can save now a good another quick little trick to do here is to make a, an alias of your minecraft folder and stick it on your desktop so i'm going to actually come up one level again here to roaming and there's my dot minecraft folder and this time i'm going to drag and drop onto my desktop and i can either pin it to my quick access or if i hold down the alt key it will create a link on my desktop so I'll hold down alt on a pc and you can see there it's going to create a link not control control will move it and copy it to the, the desktop we don't want to copy it we want to make a link to it so if i make a link to it on my desktop now on my desktop i've got the dot minecraft file there it is just there minecraft shortcut and at any time on my desktop simply double clicking on that takes me straight into my minecraft folder so i don't have to go through any shortcuts and i can get access to all my saves and all my resource packs and anything else really quickly so that's it that's how you get access to your saves file uh, this is fine if it's a save file on a single player game because remember these this was a single player game we can see here this is save and quit to title but what about if you run a server so if you're on a server and uh, you work on multiplayer how do you get access to that well if you run the server yourself you should have something like a control panel or an FTP site that you're logging into so here's a control panel for example for my server and each one of these folders is a separate world on my server 
So if I want to, for example, I can take a copy of this world by right clicking on it on my server. I right click on it and I would zip that file up. And when that zip file has been created, it'll show up on here as a zip file. There it is, labcraft zip, and I can right click on it and download that zip file. So if I now download that zip file, that's going to be, um, there we go, I'll stick it on my desktop again. Uh, there we go, stick it on my desktop so I know where it is for now. Uh, Labcraft compressed folder. So that's now downloading that world. It's only 4.3 meg that world and it now sits on my desktop nicely ready for me to use. So here we are and I can find that file Labcraft there and I just need to unzip that, um, extract all and stick it on my desktop, extract all and that will extract the relevant files necessary and I've downloaded the map from my server. So there's the Labcraft folder and in, its, in it is my world. So if I open up that world, you can see all the DAT files and the level files of a typical Minecraft world. So that's just about it. That concludes the uh, how to find your map files on a PC. Thank you very much for listening and see you soon.